we're very uh, pleased that the British National Party has conceded to our demands and accepted that they need to change their constitution. It can't be right that any political party acts unlawfully and break, breaches the Race Relations Act and uh, we're very pleased that they have changed the rules and they, or they're going to change the rules. We can't completely end the litigation until such time as they have actually changed their constitution, actually changed the membership criteria. We hope that the members do that uh, but the leader of their party has agreed that that's what he will try and do. That's uh, sufficient for today at least. Our job is to ensure that everyone, whether they're political parties or not, whether they're British National Party or not, obey the law, uh, particularly the Race Relations Act and the other discrimination provisions. That's what we've done, that's what we've achieved. This is a victory for us. Whether people then want to join the British National Party or not is a matter for them. It's their freedom to do so before they couldn't do so. That's the change that's going to happen. If uh, it, the membership rejects it, then we'll be back in court and we will ensure that uh, we the court orders uh, the British National Party to obey the law uh, with all of the consequences and sanctions that any court has. There are a number of reasons why we haven't been able to take the proceedings before. Firstly, because this commission has only existed for two years. Secondly, actually, we established uh, a, an important principle in relation to the Labour Party in the ha court in the House of Lords uh, relatively recently and of course uh, we have had complaints and we have now we identified that this was an issue and we we ensured that uh, uh, we took proceedings to ensure that the BNP acted lawfully that's what our job is it is a uh, political party it does have MEPs and councillors it needs to obey the law